Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're doing a repeat of yesterday with the F-Series pickup from Ford. Today, we have the all-new F-150. This is the platinum trim. This is the Mac Daddy F-150. If you want a luxury truck with the luxury price, with all the luxurious features your heart can imagine, this thing is absolutely stunning. Second none, I think Ford's outdone themselves completely i mean just going through this truck previously i'm just i'm blown away with this truck all right words cannot describe how i feel about this truck everybody knows i've always been a ford fan i'm not gonna hide that a little biased but i do think that ford was being caught up by competitors specifically the ram the ram definitely tried to set the precedent there with their new interiors ford came back full strong I mean, oh my goodness. So today we're going through this 2021 F-150 Platinum courtesy of Krause Family Ford here in Woodstock, Georgia. Dylan definitely hooked it up again on this masterpiece of a truck. They only have, I think like one or two of these in currently. So I'm very, very fortunate to actually lay my hands on these, especially because a lot of dealerships do not have this high trim. A lot of them have mid to lower trim. So today, we're taking an extensive walkthrough on this truck and I'm gonna show you why this is the ultimate workhorse, but it's also the ultimate luxury vehicle. Let's get to it. Really quick guys, if you like the content that you see, if you love this truck, if you love the channel, definitely subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it, do everything you need to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, yesterday I hit a milestone of 600 subscribers, something small, but I definitely appreciate all the support. And I just want to let you guys know that I do have a lot of good content, whether it's from Ford, Toyota, I mean, every brand, you guys know the spiel. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hit the bell in the upper right-hand corner. That way you can uh, stay up to date to all the videos that I release. So in saying that, let's get straight to the video. So let's start off with the front end of the all new 2021 F-150. First thing you're gonna notice are two things actually. The huge grill, and then this huge headlight unit that is actually not broken up by the grill or the bumper anymore. This is actually just one whole piece. Full LED lighting as you'd expect in modern times. And then one thing that I discovered, this LED running light goes all the way into the bumper. I swear in my life, small attention to detail makes a huge difference. I'm in love with that. That part actually engrazes the LED running lights and the LED fog lights, which is really cool. Another thing I do like is the fact that they have this amber light that's right in the middle as an accessory light and it just sets apart the whole front end. I'm in love with that. Next, the turning signals on this car is actually gonna be a full LED there. When I actually press on it, you can see it there. Really, really bright, super simple, just a small little line, but that's all you need on a front end like this. Now, you do have front parking sensors. This is a platinum model. This is their luxurious trim. So you will have front and rear parking sensors on this truck. In addition to that, you are gonna have a front camera because this car, truck, does have a full surround view camera system, which is really neat. You are gonna notice this whole grill is actually completely open with active shutters because you have to feed air to that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that this thing does have. Now, I'll go over the specs of that in a little bit, but carrying over to some of the other features of the front end, you're gonna notice because this is a Platinum, you do have nicer materials in terms of finishes. So you have the satin finish around the grill surround, chrome, you're gonna have chrome at the bottom here around the skid plate, and then you do have these chrome tow hooks as well. So overall, a very, very handsome look. It's not overstyled. I think they did really, really well with the evolution of this truck. They kind of follow Porsche's philosophy where obviously this truck looks very similar to the outgoing model, but again, why mess with a formula that's not messed up, right? Don't fix what's not broken. Ford's following that and I think they executed it really well on this truck. Very nice. So we're looking at the wheel set of the 21 F-150 Platinum. So it is a 20 inch wheel wrapped in hand cooked tires. One thing I've always, it's not an issue that I've had, but I always felt like on the platinum trim, the wheels were kind of understyled. I feel like they could have done something a little bit more extravagant, which I know they do for the limited trim, which 
most dealerships don't have yet. I'm not sure if they're even in production, but I will say the wheel set looks nice. It is chrome, 20 inch, so it's a big wheel, but I feel like they could have done just a little bit more with styling on this wheel. But overall, it's a very clean look and it goes well with the white paint on this truck and it goes well with the motif of luxury, which is the epitome of what this trim level is about. Now, this is a 275 tire, 60 sidewall, fitted around this 20 inch wheel. It is a hand cooked tire, Dynapro, so really nice tire, very quiet, so good on ride comfort. Just a standard wheel set that you would find on this F-150. Nothing too spectacular, but everybody has their own opinion. So let's talk about the design of the F-150 in the back. Like I said, this is more of an evolution more than a revolution. So styling is very similar to the outgoing model. You do have an LED brake light unit in the back. You do have platinum emblazoned all across, just like the outgoing models. It is cool though, because you have this little texture in the letters that you're also gonna find on the interior of the truck as well, which is really cool. Chrome all the way across. You got chrome on the door handle, just as you'd expect. You're gonna have this tough rubber plasticky material because of course, if you're loading anything to the truck bed or if you're stepping on here, you don't want a painted surface where it's gonna get scratched. Parking sensors in the rear, like I said. Of course, you've got your um, hitch supports, uh, connectors, and then of course your tow hitch there. LED lights for the plates. And then of course you've got your EcoBoost badging because this does have the EcoBoost motor. Now there is a hybrid option on the F-150 for the first time. That is not gonna be this motor, but it is called the Power Boost, which I think is a fantastic name for the motor. And it does actually give you a little bit more in terms of power, fuel economy, but it also gives you extra power to use for the truck itself in what they call generator mode, which this truck also has, but to a lesser extent than the hybrid model. But dare I say this model, the powertrain is more than enough, I can guarantee you. Now, another big thing with this tailgate, I know y'all saw in the Raptor video, it was a power release, but with the key fob, not only is it a power release, but you can also press the button on the key fob and also raise it back up. Absolutely insane. I think it's one of the coolest things on a truck. I know some trucks might be adopting it, et cetera, et cetera. This is my first time actually seeing it on a truck itself. I'm blown away. And the fact that you can do it from the key fob is just mind boggling. But what's also mind boggling is what they did with this tailgate. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what they've done to make this the ultimate work truck. All right, looking at the actual tailgate, you're gonna notice Ford now has this huge piece on the back of it. So that way, not only can you see it's got a yardstick on it, a ruler, you've got places for pencils, pens, you've got a slot there to store anything you need to, cup holder, ashtray, you can put nuts and bolts in there if you need to, some more pen holders there forward badging as you'd expect and then something that is actually new is something really neat you're going to see it on both sides it's going to be right here and then over here that way if you want to put c clamps there so that way you can use this thing as a table saw you can definitely do that and guess what you're just going to plug that table saw right over there into that plug use generator uh, generator mode and you've got yourself a little workhorse here you still have the famous tailgate from Ford that you can actually use it as a step stool if you need to. So, and then as you can see here, the truck bed itself, as basic as it is, it's got everything you need. You've got all the lighting, you got the plugins over there. I mean, it's perfect for the work truck, but not until you see the interior. Now, something that's different with the 2021 F-150, it's not the power running boards that's different, but now it's got a welcoming feature. So as you can see, the key fob I have in my hands, but you walk up to it, and right as you walk up to the door, look at that. It automatically unfolds, and you can actually get into your F-150. That is really neat. Kind of a common sense thing. I'm surprised trucks haven't done it yet, but they have it here on the F-150 in platinum form. All right, we're gonna step into the interior of the F-150 because there is a lot going on here. First of all, refinement is key here. Look at the door. Not only do you have the piping there with the contrast stitching, you've got the leather that goes into the door card. You've got this open pour of wood that looks absolutely beautiful. 
the buns are soft touch plastics and then look at that suede inserts on the door itself you still have the storage pockets that you'd expect in a truck same deal there you have the same style door handles to get in and out of the truck but look at this i mean just absolutely beautiful you've got new speaker grills for this bang and awesome system which i'm going to go over in a little bit and then you look over here and just look at these easter eggs you've got the american flag here emblazoned there absolutely beautiful and then of course you've got the soft touch buttons here everything from the lights on the mirrors to the truck bed release so yes you do have a power tailgate button now and then lighting switch which is a little bit different now so it just gives you a little light there on the side when you're actually using a certain light you still have the power adjustable pedals and then the electronic parking brake right there which is really neat down here you're going to find platinum emblazoned all the way down there in the door card and then look at the seat controls the seat controls are just absolutely beautiful finished in chrome and soft plastic it looks really nice you got ford emblazoned there and then look at these seats platinum just embossed on the top there you have this leather that really looks like leather that you'd find on a saddle you've got perforated leather on the headrest and i'm actually going to tell you why in a little bit but look at these seats the contrast stitching looks beautiful especially on this black leather looks absolutely stunning steering wheel has been slightly redesigned leather wrapped and like i said that textured surface that you're finding on the inside the letters on the tailgate that same texture is right up here the ford badge is platinum as you'd expect on this trim soft touch plastics here on the steering wheel look amazing platinum written there in the steering wheel more of that texture which just looks so luxurious and look at all that beautiful brown stitching looks gorgeous why don't we explore a little bit more of the interior because there's a lot of technology going on here as this is a new truck as you can see it's almost a full tank and you've got almost 500 miles to the range a full digital cluster is all new for 2021 it looks absolutely amazing over here you've got a drive mode select button and look what happens when you change the drive mode and talk about drive modes you've got like six to eight different drive modes in this thing which is in Sane, and each one has its own graphic look at that and it's not laggy at all this is like a high definition screen that you'd find on a normal computer but it is here in the f-150 looks amazing look at that completely digital they are up with the times looks amazing now this is what the talk is about this is a new 12 inch screen for the f-150 they are giving dodge ram a run for their money and the fact that it is horizontally aligned versus vertically makes me so much happier i don't know why companies think a vertical screen looks good horizontal is the way to go now this is ford's sync 4 system which is all new you've got wireless apple carplay and android auto in this okay so that is all new in addition to that, you are going to notice some things. So I hit features and then look here. You've got everything from driver assistance, the power running boards, you've got the owner's manual, and then look at this pro power on board. And look at that. You can turn on generator mode and it tells you on the fly how much power is being used on the truck at all times, which is super, super cool. And if you put on generator mode, it puts the engine in more of a workforce type of mode and it supplies more power to all the outlets of the truck so that way if you need to you can actually use it on the uh, work site zone lighting which this is also a new feature a lot of these lighting features that you have on the truck have been on older models but they do include it on the zone lighting now so you can do all zones and it'll actually light up the whole truck if you want to you can choose individual areas of the truck that you want to light up super nifty and then outside of that you have your standard features of course you've got your apps your apple carplay android auto you've got your navigation unit which is super super updated looks very modern i'm a big fan of it up here you're gonna have your individual buttons here idle stop and go you've got your surround view camera system that p in between the two lines this truck can park itself 
completely, whether perpendicular or parallel, it can park itself. Hazard button, traction control, and then downhill brake assist, standard things there. Down here, these buttons are really nice. Really nice finish here. Dual zone climate controls, you do have heated and cooled seats. You will have your fan speed selector button finished in this beautiful chrome. And then of course you've got your standard features for the climate controls and for the radio here. And then of course you've got your drive mode select button. And then you do have your selectors for the four wheel drive system. And of course your trailer brake there. Over here you got your pro trailer um, knob, which if anybody knows, they had it on the outgoing F-150, but this is to actually help if you're actually maneuvering a trailer behind the truck. They make it super easy, super nifty. So I hope to see other trucks adopt this feature. It'll definitely make a difference. And then down here, you do have your wireless charging pad, USB and USB-C. And then you have your cup holders here with ambient lighting. And then we're actually gonna talk about this middle area really quick. Now let's talk about this middle area here. A huge, huge thing that Ford has done is this adjustable shifter, okay? You actually press this button up here and it folds the shifter down. Why do you want that? Because this piece right here turns into a workstation, guys. You can put your laptop here, you can do drawings, blueprints, whatever you need. You can do that here on the F-150. It is an all new feature and I think it's the most brilliant thing they could have done. Absolutely fantastic. Press that button again, it brings the shifter up. Super cool. Now. Up here, you've got platinum embossed on the actual armrest. And of course, you can actually open it if your heart desires. And then you can see you have a ton of space there. Coin slots, everything. I mean, whatever your heart desires, you can do it. Super, super nice. And then outside of that, everybody wants to know, yes, you can lay the seat completely flat, which is absolutely amazing. So if you want to pass out on the job site, take yourself a quick little nap even though it takes a little bit of time. Look at that. Holy cow, and you can do that for the passenger seat too. So that way you can take a whole nap on the job site. Who needs anything more in their truck? In this truck, you can go to settings and then seats. And then look at this, you have a massage function in a pickup truck in a freaking pickup truck and let me tell you full recovery feels absolutely amazing right about now so i know the outgoing f-150 did have this feature as well but i love the fact that a truck has massaging seats absolutely fantastic in the second row of the f-150 platinum you're going to notice the same seating arrangement you have the same leather this still has the coverings on it. Like I said, this truck, fresh to this dealership, right? All these 21 F-150s are. You have the same suede inserts going on back here. You still have this wood, which looks absolutely amazing. It feels really nice. And then you have the Bang & Olufsen speaker grills there. Same window and door situation there. You still got storage pockets down here and underneath here. So standard door fare there. And then one thing that you're gonna notice, cup holders for the rear. You've got rear heated seats for the outboard seats. And then look at that. Right around the charging ports, you have ambient lighting there. Absolutely cool. And then you notice that metal finish there carries on through the back of the interior. Super, super cool. I'm a big fan of this. And then you still have the armrest in the middle. And then of course you got your power rear glass there. And then look up here, you have the panoramic sunroof, carries over from the outgoing model, but it goes into the second row. Looks super, super cool. All right, so now we are in the 2021 F-150 Platinum. Back here with Dylan. Again, he's the one who helped facilitate this. Happy to help. And I have to say that word correctly because sometimes I, I mess up that word. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I do have the massaging seat still on and this thing feels amazing. <laughs> so it really is. So refinement is the king of the crop when it comes to this truck. And that is something 
I've been in a lot of cars, especially luxury cars, BMWs, etc., and this feels every bit as refined as that. And it's kind of scary to say that because trucks are supposed to be exactly that. Trucks, work vehicles. This, obviously you can tow everything in the world with it. You can use generator mode at a work site. You can do all that. But this is just such a luxury vehicle through and through. Road noise is next to nothing. You barely hear that motor. And this 10 speed automatic in this thing is so smooth. I mean, power delivery. I don't know what tuning Ford has on this 3.5 V6 with it being twin turbo, but there's zero turbo lag. And I mean zero. You punch it, it's there, it's ready for you, which is astonishing. And I think it also goes in part because they did actually give this a power bump. So the outgoing 3.5, I think had what, like 350 horsepower yep. or something in that range? 360, yeah. Yeah. And now it's got 400 flat but torque is 510 foot pounds. So it almost matches that of the Raptor. The outgoing limited model did match the Raptor. So it's really cool to see what they're doing with this powertrain. They're pushing the limits though, because the Ford GT uses the same engine pretty much, just different tuning and a little smaller intricacies there. It goes to show this engine has a lot left in it and they're really up in the ante when they're tuning these trucks and you feel the power. Now, materials in this truck are just absolutely amazing they've definitely gone up market with it obviously i have not been in the work truck form of the f-150 yet so obviously in a work truck they're going to keep all the materials lower quality on purpose because you want it durable you don't want anything nice to get messed up or anything this is not that truck this is the truck that you get whether you're making a statement you want those nice features or you honestly want to get a massage while you're on the job site that's just the fact of the matter with trucks nowadays. They have become status symbols and this truck emulates that 1000%. Now, I will say, this truck honestly does feel a lot smaller than it really is. And that is something that's very surprising to me. I've been in Silverados, Rams, Tundras. All those trucks feel huge. Like you feel like you, you feel like you're in a giant tank. This feels very nimble, which is actually a big shock to me because you go into a truck feeling like, oh my God, I'm going into a tank, especially coming out of the Raptor yesterday, which was gigantic, but this is just so nimble. The steering is pretty precise, to be honest. It's not floaty or anything, which is super, super shocking for a truck, but they, they outdid themselves when it comes to this truck. I am just blown away. I mean, I'm seeing the embossment of the term sound screen on the windshield. So I know this is a dual laminated windshield, probably helps with road noise a ton, which I can tell already. I mean, you feel like you're in a cocoon, you're in a serene area. And I'm, I'm very impressed by that because trucks as everybody, especially who are older than me and Dylan grew up, a truck was a truck. It wasn't, you didn't get leather in it. You got vinyl because it was durable. You didn't have, you know, nice sound systems or anything. You had an AM, FM cassette player, that's it. Yep. And now you have trucks with features that rival that of a Mercedes S-Class. You know, this thing with radar cruise control, you've got lane safety features, you've got automatic collision avoidance, all those things in a truck. Full digital display that is honestly probably one of the most efficient and fluidic screens that I've ever seen. There's no lag on it, anything. You can tell Ford focused a lot on the technology in this truck and it really makes a difference. See, I'm driving through Woodstock Square right now, which are super tight roads, but the way that this truck is set up, there's nothing but confidence behind the wheel, which is very hard for a lot of people to say about trucks because they get scared to drive it in these small, tight roads this truck is so nimble that you can do that easily which i think just goes to show how much they've really geared this truck to be an everyday driver and to appeal to more of the masses which i know for a fact this thing will so in saying that hats off to you ford you've definitely outdone yourself now i will say these seats are a little bit more firm than i would have expected mm -hmm. but 
that is a good thing for me personally. Everybody has their own opinion, but I just personally like that because I love firm seating. So to me, they're super comfortable. You add in the massage function, you got yourself literally a hot stone massage if you have the heated seat on. It feels amazing, especially on my lower back, which mm -hmm. has taken a toll lately, but that's a different story for a different day. Now, one thing that does impress me, and maybe Dylan can clear this up, but this truck has a self-parking feature. Was that available on the outgoing F-150? So it was for parallel parking only. The 2021 got the new feature of the perpendicular parking. So before, okay. of course, you could get it in Atlanta or somewhere in downtown area and parallel park itself, but now you can, par you can perpendicular park. That just blows my mind. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like a few years ago, Mercedes, BMW, those companies had this feature and everybody was like, oh my goodness. And now you have that on a full size pickup truck. Mm -hmm. Just, oh my goodness, that technology just blows my mind. So, and then one thing I do love is just, oh, the materials in this truck are just so upmarket, you know, and mm -hmm. they do appeal to the cowboy at heart because, mm -hmm. you know, just the leather on the center console and stuff like that reminds you of like saddle leather material. It's just really, really nifty, but it's just super nice. Oh my goodness, this powertrain is just so responsive. I, oh, really, yeah. I really enjoy it. I don't think I've been this smitten by a truck in a long time, and I'm not even gonna lie, I am a super 1000 diehard Raptor fan. But I would get this truck over a Raptor You'd all take this day. Over the Raptor. I would take That's a this. Statement. I would take this over a Raptor, and I think it's because <laughs> one, I am spoiling myself with some of the extra features, mm -hmm. and obviously the new Raptor for the updated body style is not out yet. So God knows they're probably going to have all these same features. But this thing is just so smooth and serene, and here we can get on a little bit. <laughs> this thing just goes. I wouldn't be surprised if zero to 60 matches out of the Raptor or might be a little bit quicker because this thing is just a torque monster mm -hmm. and you can feel that. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. It just feels so good and the power delivery is just oh, beautiful. That is so sweet. I'm smitten by this truck. I really am. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know you deal with these things on a daily. So you're like, yeah, it's cool and all, but like, for me, oh my goodness, an outside looking in situation, this thing is just beautiful. I'm actually, gonna, you want me to park it over here? No, you don't have to worry about okay. it. Okay. Just park it wherever you want. Oh jeez. I'll take it. I back. think the only option is gonna be right here. See, and I can press that camera button. Oh my Boom. goodness, I love the location of the front camera because it's low enough to where you can see you how can close you're really getting. Yep. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie. See, I was so used to that little brake mm -hmm. being down there. You got the electronic parking brake here. Yep. That's awesome. And I definitely really appreciate it. Absolutely. I know these are super hard to get right now. And yep. I think this is like one of what, you might have one other maybe, yep. if that. So. I am super thankful. Absolutely. Thanks again. Yes, sir. Um, you guys know the plug. This is from Krause Family Ford here in Woodstock, Georgia. I'm going to give the link in the description below. I'm going to have his contact details there too. So if you guys do want a new or pre-owned Ford or pre-owned vehicle in general or this exact truck, y'all need to call this guy. He will help you guys out. Um, he's treated me like royalty here. Um, we actually just met yesterday when we did the Raptor video. So customer service here is next to none so i definitely appreciate it from you and from management Absolutely. huge thank you so in saying that i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching see ya